welcome to episode two of RC Mail Time. I think that's what we're going to call it. Let's just get this one open. I know what this is. So um, I can't remember. It was. It might have been Jay actually, one of the, one of the followers of the channel that said, "Do you know what?" You should get some blue beadlock rings for the red wheels on Spidey because you know the whole Spidey blue, blue and red thing. So that's that's what we did. Uh, these were super cheap, and I'm just holding them up to the wheels. It looks like they're going to fit a treat. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm guessing everybody knows that you can change the colours of your your beadlock rings out uh, and that's what I did so that's item number one um, we've ordered a load of bits for um, for our up and coming like Phoenix from the Flames Gladys which is uh, which what started life as an FTX Gladius but now it's basically just a bunch of parts um, we need a load of bits right now this was uh, this was something that we really needed. Uh, we needed some spacers because uh, the carbon fibre frame that I've chose to use for an Endura <coughs> means that you need to space the shocks away from the chassis slightly. So um, there's some for Spidey and these silver ones because the Gladys... Let's just grab the body here, and as you can see, the Gladius body is sort of grey. The grey and silver work together really well. Oh, and the shocks on that build are, are silver. So these uh, these look like 3 by 6 These are 3 by 10 M3, that is. These are 3 by 6 So that's good. I was... Uh, spacers is something that... When you're building, guys, you definitely end up needing some of, if not lots of. Um, they come in really handy for spacing the shocks away from the chassis. Ah, oh, right, yeah. We really needed... That's an odd number, isn't it? What? That's... I hope, I hope there's another bag. There's two black, two blue, and two red. That's, that's that's weird. That's that's got me slightly worried. Um, when you're ordering off of AliExpress, you've really got to pay attention to the amounts um, that are in the listing. And um, quite often, it will say that you can buy like a an item for like five dollars. But then when you get there, it's just the program card or something like that. I hope I haven't just got two of each of those. At least I've got a video because if there is a problem with the order, they asked you to do a video. Two blue, two red, and two black. Ah, oh, flaps. Right. Um, <clears throat> this may or may not get used um, with the with the Gladius rebuild. Um, if it doesn't. Um, I'm I'm gonna be able to use it. All these, this feels really nice, guys. They're quiet. Oh, they're, they're they're just solid feeling. So uh, these are like SCX ten ish Delrin uh, Delrin rock sliders. Nice bit of space up there um, for me to put a bit of angle on to do body fitting and you know ESCs or receivers and whatnot. Could go in there and it's got some uh, uh, hardware for fitting nice they look pretty good um, you'll be seeing those in an up and coming build they may actually be uh, uh, they may actually go go together with this um, something I didn't I just assumed again me not checking the details um, I just assumed that that was going to be like a 70 mil um, skid and it's actually 66 mil. So what should I do with a 66 mil skid? Um, I could make two little uh, two mil sleeves up, uh, not sleeves, like spacers, long spacers to go in here that match the frame and skid. 
um, to make it a 70 mil, or could I build a 66 mil wide chassis? What What do you think? Um, does anybody know of a 66 mil wide chassis? So oh, I'm a bit worried about those nuts. That's, that's not optimal, right? So this is the final item in today's scene, and this is something that when I did the uh, the wheel review um, for a set of Amazon bead locks, someone said to me, "Those Amazon bead locks are really good, but I've started using these, which you're just about to see." And uh, I know my mate over at Brawl Bar C has got those. Do you know what? I don't think I ordered these. I don't think I ordered the white, the ones with the holes in. Let me, let me just get you guys. Look, look, there you are. Um, have I created some sort of uh, uh, time loop? Right, let me go to uh, Ali, Ali Helper. Skip. Well, you should jump for a lot of hopes, don't it? Right, well, they've sent me the wrong, wrong wheels. I can't zoom in on that. Can you guys? Hopefully, you guys can say sorry about all the flickering. But I'm almost positive that I ordered that type. And they sent me the one. I either ordered these because I thought this would go really well with the spider, the spider theme. Oh, AliExpress. Right, let's just check the order of nuts as well while I'm here. Oh my goodness! Yeah, it says two pieces. All right, so that was me just not checking the descriptions. All right. <laughs> oh, that's... They, I mean, they look all right. They look like a nice quality. And obviously, the red was going to go with these. Maybe I could go one red, one red, one blue, or whatever. So, uh, these were possibly going to be going on to, on to Spidey. I don't really want to go through the whole bloody procedure of having to send these back guys but um if you remember recently um i did i mean they look really cool i think like the red the red is is quite a bit darker than what was in spidey but we'll see we'll see um uh yeah, yeah so recently i did uh, I did a video on spaces. I'm just looking to see if I've got any on the on the desktop here, guys. Um, no, I haven't. They're not. They're not within reach. So, <clears throat> I recently did a video on what called wider, which was about replacing the SLWs that's in these, and um, the, you know the hub, the the hubs. And uh, putting extended hubs on. Well, um, as these are right out, there's like uh, a plus. Is that a plus or a minus? I can never remember which way round it goes. Um, I mean, the way these are set, you would have you would have like a negative offset. I guess they would be that would be mounted somewhere very central, but. Um, if I wanted to use the uh, the the hub the hex weights um, like I was in that video, because these are because the face is on the uh, because they're mounted to the face, that will suck the wheel in. So you'd be able to use those on these wheels. And um, let me just drag the scales in just to give you an idea. So, so you know, this, this was all part of the conversation about rotating mass not being ideal, yada, yada, yada. And uh, I said, well, you know, maybe I can get the, the, the weight as close to the hub as possible 
just under 40 grams guys and uh, there's a there's a beadlock wheel that isn't heavy this is quite a light beadlock wheel have i got any more beadlock wheels off of the vehicle not to hand but yeah i mean the i have a feeling these are the thin 20 mil rings so the standard 24 mil rings i think are around 120 grams a piece um so for you know 38 grams they're really nice and light the machining looks okay um it looks like there may have been a bit of tool fail a uh, tool tool fade and um, toward, towards the end of making this pair um but they look all right and, and as you can see it was just a, a silver carbon fiber sheet um that was uh dyed on the outside they look reasonably good quality they do have six and um, six screws holding the face and the beadlock down that everything feels nice and light i wonder what that center bit is there is that aluminium or squeezing it feels feels like maybe like a delrin plastic of some description anyway guys you'll see these coming up on the uh the channel please do let me know what you thought of the uh uh, the 66 millimeter, uh, 66 millimeter conundrum. Um, if you've got any ideas um, or knowledge with regards to how one uses a 66, because my chassis spacing is around 70 from what I, I've gleaned this far. Um, I think it's worth mentioning, guys. Uh, although I have been around the hobby a long time of RCing. Uh, and uh, I think I've mentioned it before, I used to actually make drones for the Australian security industry. Um, so I know, I know my stuff with RCs. Um, you know, I've been building all the way up from CAD to, CAD, um, to final product. But um, RC crawling is relatively new to me. I've only been doing this for about... A year and a half maybe just no just over a year so i've still got a lot to learn and that is why i appreciate all of you guys um because you you know you're fantastic at letting me know the things that i don't know so for that i'm really grateful i'm going to sign this one off here thank you for tuning into episode two remember guys no matter the question love is always the answer bye for now